Here come the men in black. Mm. Uh, Galaxy Defenders. Woo! Woo! <laughs> but first, intro. Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, we definitely gotta get into this one. Why? Because my man Ryan Up Church, along with my man Kansas Rebel Man, ya damn right, um, are collabing uh on this on this vlog and they're they're basically talking about some UFO experiences, apparently. According to this title, it says Mammoth National Park UFO Experience with at Kansas Rebel Man, may I reiterate, you damn right, uh, reactions, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into this one, because uh, your boy, your boy definitely has some stories to share with y'all, but we'll get into all that as this video progresses, now without further ado, I'd like to hit hit. go, so guys, I see y'all in the comments, y'all like, uh, hey, do it, do this, do this, Actually, me and Kansas are on here because <laughs> we want to thing that we see, bro. Like, and you know, I thought about before going, I was like, man, I was like, and that's why I ain't said nothing about it. Because I was like, bro, I was like, people don't think we're crazy or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I feel you. I, that's why I really ain't, you know, said anything about it too much. I really ain't even told my wife, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, yeah. Because that's it. She ain't gonna fucking believe me, dog. Bro, I, I told Beth, I was like, bro, listen to this. And she was like, looking at me like, well, like, what the fuck? Like, she's like, I believe you, but that sounds crazy. And I was like, last night I was watching a bunch of UFO videos. And I was like, man, I was like, fuck it. I was like, I'm gonna tell them. And then I was like, well, I don't want to tell the story if Kansas don't want me to. That's why I texted you earlier and was like, yo, you care if I tell them about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. I wish that I would have had that bitch on fucking record, bro. Bro. I, I know, dude. I know, dude. And, and let me just say real quick, uh, I'm, I'm going to do my best not to try to pause as much because this is a fairly long video. It's like 18 minutes and 30 second, 36 seconds uh, long. So this will probably be a long reaction video. Um, but, I mean, I don't blame church for being hesitant and wanting to share uh these ufo sighting stories man because like i said your boy your boy has definitely had some sightings of his own you know what i'm saying and i would be too damn afraid to to share these with with, with people that that i love you know what i mean like my fam my friends and everything because i don't want people to think that i was crazy you know what i mean i'm out here i'm hallucinating i'm on something you know what i mean i'm seeing shit or whatever you know what i mean like oh shit is he going crazy do we need to you know um you know, take, take his ass to, to the men, mental institution or whatever the hell, you know what I mean? The freaking loony bin, you know what I mean? Like, bruh, you know what I mean? It, it's hard sharing those kind of stories, you know what I mean? But I don't know, now lately with with the news now even talking about it, which I'm shocked that they're even, you know, talking about it. I mean, bruh, bruh. Now it's like, okay, you know what I mean? You you, you best you best believe we, we ain't alone. I don't think we're alone. But anyway, let's get back into this. So, everybody who's watching this, we're going to eventually... I'm gonna put this on YouTube after we're done, but okay. So here's the deal: me in Kansas, and my mom who was asleep in the back seat. Yeah, yeah, your mom. And then behind us was Tamara and Nick. Yep. So, and they seen it too. They seen right. it too. So yeah. we're not crazy, dude. We ain't crazy. But dude, I, I was thinking about this. I was like, you no, I, I believe it 100. percent And real quick, let me get into one of these sighting stories that I have. You know what I mean? I remember I was dating this girl, right? She was a she was a blonde. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty thick chick, you know what I'm saying? But yo, man, she, 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 she was fun in a motherfucker, you know what I mean? If I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, I remember, um, I took her up and I told the story about how I used to go on mountain drives. I used to go on high, this, this highway called Highway 9. It's actually like this mountain road, you know what I mean? It takes you up the mountain and whatnot. And then it splits into a bunch of different roads that will take you like all kinds of different places. But anyway, we go up to Highway 9. We go to the, this, uh, Vista Point and it's, I would say it's fairly late at night, probably like around 9, 10-ish, maybe, maybe even 11 o'clock at night. I remember we were out pretty late. We went to the Vista Point. We were just chill, chilling, looking at the uh, the uh, city lights and everything. All of a sudden, we look up, 
and we see these two um, things just kind of like hovering around and they got this um, this like flashing red lights on them and um, she she legit asked me like are you seeing what I'm seeing I'm like yeah I'm seeing what you're seeing I mean I was about to ask you the same thing like you know okay so like we both know what we saw you know what I mean just some unusual objects with these flashing lights flying by flying around right hovering around and shit moving in a in a in a very very smooth motion like 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 not the kind of motion you would see from like 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 a, like a plane or even a helicopter or anything no these things will fly in this very like very smooth you know what I mean fluid motion and everything you know what I mean it's just it's freaking crazy you know? and and we next thing I know, man, we, we we just talking about all kinds of like weird space shit, you know what I mean? Alien shit, bruh. Anyway. You know what? I was like, we let a good fifteen minutes, twenty minutes go by because I remember being like, I wonder if they'll call us. Right. They seen it and they didn't call us, so I was like, fuck it, well we're gonna call them. Yeah. So we called them and was like, Did you see that? And she was like, The thing in the sky and we were like, Yeah, bruh. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, she's like, oh yeah, there's supposed to be like a red moon or something like that, or uh, red moon on that sun, uh, that Sunday or whatever. Um, not not to you know disrespect my my, my man Kansas Rebel man, but I mean, um, it's actually called a a blood moon, and and what a blood moon is, well, basically he he just explained it. It's where the moon looks like it's it's literally like blood red. You know what I'm saying? Uh, those things happen on rare occasions, man. You ever get a chance to see see a blood moon? I mean, yo, it's a sight to behold. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. So check it, y'all. So me, Kansas, and all of us were riding through, I think, uh, Mammoth <coughs> National Park. And it's like 50,000, I think it's uh, 50,200 acres or something like that. Anyway. So the fucking trees. Bro, correct me if I'm wrong, fam, but we're driving, and it's late at night. What time? It was like 2 or 3 in the morning. Yeah, I was about to say 2 3 o'clock in the morning, dude. And I remember the GPS said we had like 97 miles or something. Yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ, that's a long-ass way. So as we're driving, it's four lanes, or it's two lanes on one side, and then the opposing traffic is two lanes. It's mm. pitch dark, bro. There's nobody out. Bro, me in Kansas, what were we talking about, bro? Dude, we was talking about a bunch of shit. Bro, we was talking you... about... Oh, go ahead. We was talking about speaking stuff into existence. We was talking about fucking the moon because it was clear skies. The moon was a full, like, damn near a full moon. And it was bright as fuck. And yeah. fucking... We were talking about, uh... What was it? We just were talking about it a minute ago. Uh... Cause I called you, remember? I was like, bro, correct me if I'm wrong, but weren't we talking about like aliens being able to watch us and like, yes, and like show us that hey, oh, yeah, because we were like, dude, I, I bet, like I said in my story, you know, what I mean, me and this girl I was dating at the time, man, bro, we, we was talking about yo, aliens are, are you know, what I mean, we, we were talking about aliens too, man, talking about yo, I think they, they, they among us, you know what I'm saying, they be the susses among us, if you know what I mean, bro. Anyway, aliens come down here to like show people certain things, uh, so uh, so things can change. Close to, so I bet they monitor us and shit all the time. About that time, bro, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, what happens, bro? Dude, dude, I'm leaning forward and I and I look, I look up, literally look up into the fucking sky, and I see it's like, and this is the way I always, I've always explained, it. it's like. Somebody threw a fucking paper plane, and that bitch was coasting. It was like mm -hmm. triangle-looking fucking thing, dude. Yes, yes. Like I said, I, I've seen these things. I know exactly what he's talking about. I'll tell you another, another time I saw um, a, a, a UFO that shaped like what my man just described. My very first security job, right? It was near my, my old hometown, my hometown of uh, San Jose, California, right? Um, I, I used to work like the next town over. It was in like like it's borderline Sunnyvale and Santa Clara. But anyway, I was doing my my patrol round right at at my site, and I, I remember going around towards the back of the campus, 
as I'm making my way around this road, it takes you all the way around the back, like to go out through, through this gate that takes you out to, to the street. Um, as I'm making my way through, I look up and I see this thing formed like this, right? And it, it's kind of angled like like that kind of, you know what I mean? And I can see like, you know, the, the flashing red light on the side, you know what I mean? He's about to get into this. Be advised, yes, I did watch part of this. I didn't finish it because I still want to do a, a reaction to this. And uh, yeah, it has this flashing red light and everything. And another time I saw something like that, um, again, back in my old hometown of San, San Jose, California, um, we used to live in the in, in, in the east side, and uh, which is pretty much the hood. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I remember I was chilling at, at a homie's house, right? It's just like just like right, like couple, across the street, a few houses over from where we were, like down the street a little bit. And um, we were just chilling in, in, in his garage, right? Just chopping up, shooting the shit, whatever. It was late, probably like around maybe 11, if not midnight, somewhere around that time. All of a sudden, we see this thing like hovering. Like it looked like it was hovering over the the, uh, the uh, next street, but not really. It was just, you know, you could tell this thing was huge because, I mean, it looked fairly big. You know what I'm saying? Like it looked like it was it was pretty close, like literally, like legit, like the next street over. And um, it was making this like really smooth descent like this and it had that same flashing red light, you know what I mean? As it was making its descent. And then um, as it was making its descent, I mean, there's there's palm trees in, in, this, in, in the hood too, you know what I mean? It was going behind like these two palm trees. I was like the next street over and it disappeared, like it vanished. You know what I mean? Like as if that, like the palm trees were like some kind of portal or something. But I mean, when it passed the palm trees, or not really passed them, but I mean, when it went to the palm trees, it literally went like, you know what I mean, like, like it just disappeared. Like it never really passed the palm trees. It's just like as if it, it was hiding behind the palm trees. You know what I mean? It it, it was a trip. And me, me, me and the homie we were looking at each other like like, you saw what I saw, right? Like I ain't the only one. He goes. Hey, if, if you've seen it, I've seen it too. You know what I mean? Bruh, bruh. I mean, these things are out there. You know what I'm saying? And again, I don't blame these guys. Well, um, mainly Church, only because he said it. You know what I mean? I don't blame him for being hesitant and talking about stuff like this. Because again, yeah, it does sound crazy. It does sound like something you hear about in, in the movies, right? You don't think it's real. You don't think it's legit until you actually see these things for yourself. Bruh, anyway. In the way it was... It wasn't flying like a plane. Mm -mm. And then I, Ryan was like, well, it's probably one of those highway uh, patrol drone things. Patrol drones. I was like, I don't know, man. That thing's like, the way it was fucking coasting, dude. Mm. And then, yeah, bro, you were like, what the scared, bro. I was like, bro, that's a drone, right? That's a drone. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well it literally had, like, like, bro, the lights on it weren't like the fucking plane or like mm. the fucking drone. The bitch was fucking coasting, and then, like, as we were, got done, like, kind of talking about it. Yeah, because it's, fuck, like, it's floating over. Quit talking for a minute, because I guess we were just both, like, in our own head, thinking, like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then it, we, I was like, yo. Well, Ryan's like, yo, you should, you should get a fucking picture. Try to get a picture. I try to pull my phone out. And by the time I got my phone out and, and the window down and up, up and shit, that motherfucker was gone. Bro, it was that's the thing and see and this is something i always i always wonder and i kind of theorized i think once they they know you know what i mean these beings whatever they are that's flying these these um these, these hovercrafts i guess we can call them for now you know what i mean these ufos you know what i'm saying um i think they know that we're noticing them we're seeing them because like like uh like kansas said you know what I mean? Like, like you, you, you see them, right? And then, yeah, you want to get a picture. You want to get a video or something. You know what I mean? So you try to grab your, your uh, device or whatever so you can, you know, catch it. But then when you look back up, yeah, it's gone. I think they're very much aware. They know somehow. Like, like we, we notice them. We see them. You know what I mean? Bruh. So gone. But, dude, it, it, wait, I, I, at, at least to me, like, when I seen it, because we talked about this right after it went past, I was like, that thing doesn't move like it's supposed to. Mm. No. Uh, nothing like something that we know. Nothing like I've seen before. Mm. It didn't move like a plane, and the mm -mm. lights on it weren't blinking like a plane. The, the light of <laughs> gravity. Yeah, bro. It was like it was flo 
of a satellite orbiting, that's how it was moving, bro. Mm -hmm. That's how it was moving. And I remember... It, it's a, like I said, it's a very smooth, fluid motion. You know what I mean? Like, not like a, a, a plane or a helicopter where it, it seems like it, like the motion is a little rigid. No, this thing flies a lot smoother. You know what I mean? The motion on this thing is smoother. You know what I mean? Like, it... Like, like, like they said, it defies freaking gravity. You know what I'm saying? Like, this thing moves like the way it wants to move. I guess, for the lack of a better way to to uh, uh, describe the 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 uh, the emotion that this thing moves in. You know what I mean? It, it it it's a trip. Like I said, it's 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 a weird phenomenon that, that is hard to explain. It's one of those things you gotta see it. You know what I mean? You gotta see it to believe it. You ever have an opportunity? You know what I mean? To go out at night. Look up in, in, in the dark skies, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know. You have an opportunity to see that thing. I remember because me and you were tripping because I was like, bro. I was like, when, I, I, you were like, dude, I've never seen lights like that on anything. Because it wasn't green, it wasn't red, it wasn't anything flashing. It was bizarre. Like, I told some, I told my boy Paul. That's weird because the ones I've seen, they have the, the red lights and they, and they flash. You know what I mean? They're flashing red lights. Paul, oh, earlier. I said, bro, the front looked like, I said, now, this is going to sound crazy. Yeah. But the front of it looked like a glowing iceberg, and the back of it looked like glowing tree sap or something. Like, you know in Jurassic Park when they got that fucking little, he's got the spider in the amber? Yeah, 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 bro, yeah, yeah. it looks like somebody held, held a flower. Again, no, 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 no disrespect, but the, it's not a spider in the amber, it's a mosquito. Flashlight. Literally. Under it. That's the best way I can explain it. Well, then it had it had like this little, little light bluish light on top that was like going in, it going in and out, and then uh, then the fucking your lights, bro. Your that's what freaked me the fuck out was when your oh, mom. Uh, before, you, before you say this, everybody in the comments being like, "Ha that's what shrooms will do to you." No, bro, we were on a road trip. We weren't doing anything. Yeah, we weren't doing anything. In fact, uh, the, the the times I seen these things, I wasn't doing anything either. You know what I mean? I wasn't smoking no weed. I wasn't doing no 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 shrooms or nothing. I didn't try shrooms until this year. So, you know what I mean? And I don't fuck with anything else, bruh. Nah, I mean, like I said, I, I'm believing every word that they're that they're saying right now. Cause like I said, I've seen these things myself. At all? No. Go ahead. I I forgot about what you're about to say, bro. But, dude, we're sitting there, and me and Ryan don't even notice it at first. Is it, Mama, Mama Church fucking leans up, and she's like, like, po like poking at the lights and shit. And Ryan's like, well, well, what's going on? And she's like, the lights were, like, doing this. Mm -hmm. so going in and out. Like yeah, they, it's like it's like as if they're, uh, they're um, pulsating. You know what I'm saying? They go like this. Like, like, a, like, a, like a pulse, kind of. You know what I mean? Just, but constant. You know what I mean? Just. A single beat, you know what I mean? Just, doo, 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 doo. you know what I mean? Like the fucking, like the fucking shit that we seen in the sky, dude. Bro, oh my god, bro. And then they were dimming. They they kept on going like this, on and up, like on and off, on and on, mm -hmm. dim down and dim down. The far, it's like the further we got away from that fucking thing, the dimmer and dimmer it got it and got back and went back to normal. But bro, yes, it was like it was like whatever the thing was, and that's another thing. Like, so we were doing about seventy, bro, because we were going down uh, that long ass road by uh, by Mammoth uh, National Park, and this thing, if you're going at a certain speed, and something flies over you, first off, this thing didn't fly into uh, our vision; it fucking appeared in the vision. That was the weird thing. Mm. It wasn't like it wasn't like it came over the fucking treetops. It kind of just appeared, and the thing was, is it was triangle shaped. Yes, but it, it was yes. Like I said earlier, the thing I saw, it was triangle shaped and it was angled like this. So yes, I, I now I know for sure. Yes, they 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 saw what I saw. Moving in like almost like a sideways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if a plane straight like this, obviously it's like, meh, it flies like this. Mm -hmm. This thing was, like, kind of doing its own fucking thing. Well, mm -hmm. well, well bro, and it's so, it was so low. It Like, planes don't fly that fucking low. 
Uh-uh. We could see it, dude. We literally could see it. Yeah. Oh, bro, remember because cause me and you was like, well, bro, how was we able to see inside lights? Literally, but, man. But it was a weird kind of light. Like, you see lights all the time, and you're like, okay, that's obviously a light. Like, this thing was illuminated. The inside of it was illuminated like the moon. Yeah, yeah, that's like, what I say. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like soft, like, kind of, you know? Yeah, like a crick, like almost like a, like a, a there was like a cream color, yeah. white. It didn't like go anywhere else. Like it didn't shine. It was just it was it was glowing. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah. the, like, like you said, the purging of the lights. My dome lights in my fucking Hellcat started doing the same thing. That's it. Bro, and I know that sounds crazy, bro. That's bro. Me and that's what there. tipped that shit off for me, dude. That's what literally gave me fucking goosebumps was when your mom started fucking pointing out I'm, to the lights, like, dude. Yeah. But, but it, bro, that's the thing, though. Even when we was clicking the light... To turn it off and on, it wasn't doing anything. It was just doing the weird, like, going in out like that little blue light on top of that motherfucker. Bruh, that's crazy. Bro, I'm talking about it. Like, yeah, I know. Every time I talk about it, I get, I get freaked out. <laughs> that was the first time I ever encountered anything like, like that. Yeah. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. And I'll never forget. At my old job site, right? And I used to do security at, 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 a, at a dump site. And uh, be advised that this dump site was on an island. You know what I mean? So it was landfills, recycle, all kinds of shit. Well, if you go on the, like around the back of the island, you know what I mean, where all the landfill is, right? It would be pitch black. You know what I mean? Pit, pitch black. The only thing you, you, you can see is like the uh, city, you know, across the water or whatever. You can see, like, the lights from the city and everything. Sometimes you can see fireworks going off, like, on the 4th of July and everything. It, it's fucking badass seeing the fireworks going off all over the cities, you know what I mean, during 4th of July. But anyway, if you go in this one particular area, right, you can actually see these things freaking... Sometimes there'll be more than one. Sometimes there'll be two. Sometimes there'll be three flying around. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. I'm saying that job site, man. I wish I still had that job site just so I could steal those things again, dude. Anyway. And then we were talking about speaking stuff to an existence, and if the aliens are, are real, are they? I bet you they could watch us and shit, right? No. So you see this thing fucking float by, and then after it floats by, you know, we drive for a while, at least five minutes without really saying anything. Then we start talking about it. Then we start talking about blood moons for literally no reason. Mm. No reason whatsoever. Yeah. We called Tamara about this time. We called Tamara behind us. We haven't even called her yet. We're just about to. We called her. Then when we called her, we said, did you see that? And she said "She said something like, the thing in the sky. We were like, yeah, that's exactly what she said. The thing in the sky? She said, I thought it was a reflection off of something inside the truck on the win a window making a weird glow. Yeah, and we were like, "Fuck no!" Then what's the next thing she said, dude? She said, "We're supposed to, we're supposed to have a, a red moon or blood moon uh, uh, tomorrow, the day we're going to Panama." So you mean yeah. to just talked about aliens listening to people and observing us, and we talked about blood moons in our own car. Then this thing flies by, and then we call her, and she mentions blood moons for no reason. Bruh, I wish I can have this conversation with them, man. I would love to have been a part of this so I could tell them about my experiences seeing these things, man. Bruh, let's go. Dude. Dude. <laughs> How do you explain that? That's that's what I've been that's what I've been wondering this whole right motherfucking there. time. Tamara, hell yeah. She, yeah, she knows. How do you explain that? Though? And Nick, and Nick knows, bro. This is right after we left Paintsville. Bro, we got four fucking people who all seen it. Get out. We're not even riding with each other. Well, you say four people. Well, yo, number five. All right, because I've seen these things. Anyway, that's real shit. And, and yeah, go ahead, you go. No, I was just about to say, I did, I did, I literally leaned forward because we've been in the car for a minute, dude. We were just, I just leaned forward and. Oh, it was it was clear skies, clear sky. Dude. I looked up into it, just looked up to the sky. I was like, 
It was over to the left, up in the sky, low enough to where you could see it. And I was like, bro, what the fuck is that? Yeah. I was like, that bitch ain't no motherfucking plane, dude. And then you said, it's a, it's probably, uh, it's probably one of those drones. I was like, uh, you know, I ain't from here, but, you know, fuck. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. And then you looked at it, yeah. As you got to take in consideration that this thing was moving in two directions at one time. Yeah. It was. It was stayed in vision of our windshield mm, by literally. going with us, and it was also inching forwards and getting out of the way. How does planes can't do that? Exactly. Mm. And, 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 they, and they didn't have the, the right. Of the fucking national park, fam. Yep. Yep. What do you and think? Then, yeah. That's the thing, like, bro, it, it could have been anything, but whatever the fuck it was, was listening to us. And decided to come into our peripheral vision when we're talking about certain things being in our peripheral vision and listening to us. Then we then we question if it can make stuff happen, and then we have a conversation and we call her. That's the first thing she mentioned after the after the UFO thing. So, yeah, man, I find all this very fascinating because I wonder. You know, what I mean, uh, like like, are they watching us? You know what I mean? Like, can they see what we're doing? Can they hear what we're doing? You know what I mean? Can they hear us? You know what I mean? I, I, I'm really curious about all this. You know what I mean? And I don't know. And then it's like, are they friendly? Are they not? You know what I mean? Are they like like us humans? You know what I mean? Are there some good ones? Are there some bad ones? You know what I mean? It's funny that me, me, me and my dad, and me and my dad never had the, these kind of conversations before, but um, he was talking to someone who showed up to his shop one day that was talking about this stuff. And then all of a sudden... Um, he came home one day telling us about this and telling him by us, me, me, me and my mom. And then um, all of a sudden, me and him are having a conversation about it. And I was like, you know, I've actually seen these things. I told him, man, I've, I've actually seen these things. I've seen them, again, at at some job sites I used to work at. You know what I mean? At my old security gigs. Um, I've, I've seen them, you know, again, back home in, in my old neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> Again, when I went up to Highway 9 at the Vista Point, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I saw him there too, you know? It, bro, like, these things are, like, all over. The chances of that are so, so low, bro. Yeah. And then it fucked with our, it, it fucked with your car, dude. It fucked with your that car. Thing, bro. Like, and then where your mom's ass where I was like did, you, did your car see now that's the only thing I've never experienced you know what I mean and maybe because these things didn't fly close enough or hover close enough towards me but I've never had them like fuck with the lights or any of the other like electronics you know what I'm saying in the vehicle which is which is weird I do know that after a short time the light bar above my patrol vehicle would stop working though and I'm like this thing's like brand new. Why, how come that light bar doesn't work anymore? You know what I'm saying? Like all the spot, well, not the entire light bar. Like the yellow parts of it would, would still flicker and whatever. Like doing what it's supposed to do to let you know. Oh yeah, it's a security vehicle. But it would have um four spotlights: two on the side, one in the front, one in the back, and all all of them went out. And we didn't even have the vehicle for that long. It would be like we've only had it for like maybe like, like about a month or so and I wouldn't have the spotlights on all the time I only use them for like when I really need to see something at night you know what I'm saying but then like I didn't get to use them that much and already they're already fried you know what I mean like the bulbs are burnt out and everything I was like oh I gotta replace the damn bulbs we never did just all, cause they you know they don't want to spend that kind of money on you know fixing everything on their vehicles they don't, some security companies don't take great care of their vehicles let's put it that way have like any like shortages or why yeah. has it ever done that before like no like what's yep. up dude brand new yeah bro and you know uh, even even back to like uh the the people who come to my house that one time dude and and interviewed me in my house and ended up leaving because they're 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 filming and dude's like bro i think i just seen something and they go back to check the film, and three seconds of the video, or there's a black screen exactly where he was like, yo, what is that? Boom, black screen, camera comes back on, starts recording to get out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. 
people, a lot of people think that I be making this shit up, fam. No, like, bro, make this shit up. Again, no. No, I can tell they're not making this up, man. Like I said, man. I, yo, church, what if you're watching, bro, I, I know I know you've been watching my channel. You know what I'm saying? You let it be known, so please forgive me. But I mean, if you're watching this, man, yo, I would love to have this, this discussion with y'all. You know what I mean? I'm putting that out there. I've seen these things myself, like I said. I'm trying to tell y'all. Weird shit happens when people are around me, bro. <laughs> hey, well, hey well, what about that lady? That lady who fucking thought that she was going to fucking, uh, I think she came to Ghost Ranch or some shit, and she thought that she was going to fucking uh, figure out, talk to talk to those fucking those spirits or whatever shit and she was like fuck that i'm out of here her fucking name was carved on the wall yeah here's fuck the that. i thought her name was what she told me or, or in the beginning that was her that's her like uh internet name or whatever so she goes up to the the fourth floor ghost ranch into this closet where i'm like yo this is the weirdest closet i have like this one makes me feel hella uncomfortable Ghost Ranch has four floors? Damn. She goes yeah. in there, all freaked out. And uh, I was like, yo, what's wrong? She's like, my name's carved on the wall. And I was like, what do you mean your name's carved on the wall? And she pulled her driver's license out and showed me her name name, real name. Her fucking name was carved on the wall. It said, help me, and then her name. And fuck I was like, what the fuck? Is something fucking with her right now? Like, playing a joke on her? What is it? What are the chances of me meeting a, a random person I never met before that comes to my house to do some psychic shit and she goes to the fucking fourth floor where exactly where I said it was that makes me feel weird. I don't know her name, but her name is carved on my wall. <laughs> fuck that shit, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck that, dog. Hey, I'm tri Hey, fuck no. Hey, hey, I talked to... I, I, I went live... Not yesterday, it was the day before, I think. Yeah. And uh, Simba popped in. And uh, I told him, I was like, bro, I'm trying to go on a fucking, uh, a fucking ghost hunt. Like a little ghost fucking trip, man. He's like, you trying to go to fucking ghost ranch? I was like, I don't know all that, dog. <laughs> Look, I ain't trying to end up like Kane Brown, bro. End up bro. dipping off and, you know, fucking get lost <laughs> out there. But I was like, hell no. Nah. Like, Fuck no, nah, man. Dude, I... Next time you come down, mm. uh, have I ever showed you fucking uh, the big humongous barn I found in the middle of the woods? Mm. Bro, next time you come down, we're going to go stretch, and I got to show you this barn, bro. This barn is in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how the fuck they got the materials down there, but there's <laughs> humongous barn. It's got people's, like, initials and shit carved on it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what's bro, up, bro. Go in here and tell everybody about... Uh, when we seen that fucking UFO, bro, I know it sounds crazy and yeah, I had it really fucking happened. Descriptions to explain it like we do, but we got to see it up close, fam. Well, no, well, no, and and and, bro, when we got to Panama, we were watching a fucking UFO fucking show, and that very same description that we fucking seen that we that we seen, we seen it literally on TV. I totally forgot about that. Same here. I didn't even it came to my thought. We were all sitting, sitting there, just, and we were eating that Domino's and shit. We're looking at each other like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, that's crazy. What up, Trevor? Fucking wild. Well, shit. Hey, bro. Trevor just got here. I just want to come and tell that story with me because I was like, "Bro, I, I gotta have the other person that was with me because otherwise, yeah, I'm not gonna believe me." Most definitely. Most definitely. It all definitely right, fucking happened. <laughs> Hopefully it happens again, bro. Hopefully we get the ride. <laughs> right? Take me for a ride in your big green spaceship. Fuck. Man, <laughs> that should have been crazy. <laughs> he, he said, take me for a ride in that big green spaceship. Fucking. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go on them things, man. Because who knows what them things will, will, will do to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they have these movies and these you know TV shows that be making fun of. You know these things that may do some things to your behind, if you know what I mean. Talking about that, yeah, that that uh, that uh, that you know that that whole probing thing. You know what I'm saying, bro? How you know these things ain't gonna try to do that shit to you? You know what I mean? And and do you know conduct some experiments on you and shit? You know what I mean? Mess you up? I mean, I'm just saying. You never know. <laughs> All right, Bubba. How are we tomorrow? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Much All love. Right, 
All right, y'all. So that was Up Church and Kansas Rebel Man. You know what I'm saying? With the Mammoth National Park UFO experience. You know what I'm saying, bruh? And yo, like I said, I believe every bit of this story. I believe that they they uh, saw something. You know what I mean? They, they, they saw them things. You know what I'm saying? Flying around, hovering around, however you want to look at it. Because them things that they, they be describing sound a lot like the things that your boy done, done seen himself. You know what I'm saying? In various various parts of my neck of the woods. I mean, I'm, bruh, this, this, this shit ain't no joke. These things are out there. You know what I mean? What their intentions are, probably never know. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man. Bruh, feel free to share your experiences. If you had these same experiences, you see these things, feel free to share them in the comments section down below. I'm not going to pass any judgment on you because, like I said, I know what I saw and I know what these dudes done seen based on what they, on how they described what they saw. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. yeah. Feel free to share your experience if you've had it, if you've had any, you know what I mean? In regards to these things that be hovering around, feel free to. Share your thoughts as to what you think these might be. You know what I mean? I look I look forward to checking out all y'all's comments in the comment section. Don't forget to uh, mash this video with a like if you're with it. You know what I mean? If you're new here and uh, if you're a regular, uh, please make sure that you are uh, subscribed to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Make sure you got that bell notification uh, set to all so you never miss an upload. That will all be greatly appreciated. Link for the original video will be in the description down below if you want to watch and listen to this on your own free time uninterrupted. And along with the... Uh, store links and the homies uh channel links as well and uh yeah so with all that being said it is your boy jason jv so y'all take care of Squad fam have a blessed one catch y'all next one peace <laughs>